So on Maple Story, there is a quest that's really I don't consider a quest, or many other people wouldn't consider it, but it is kind of an exchange quest. Um, basically, it's at the Ninja Castle, out of all places. And I'm pretty sure you have to complete the quest line for it. Quick side note here, future me looking back at this recording and footage and realizing that you could actually do this without doing the quest line. I tried it out with characters that haven't done the quest line yet and you're still able to do the 300 Jonin star size quests. So without further ado, let's get back to the video. And what he asks is for 300 Jonin stars. Now for a couple years, I always wondered what that was. What would you get when you collected 300 Jonin stars? So, I went ahead and, f and decided to take the time to actually get myself 300 Jonin stars. And to be honest, it was a pretty lengthy, lengthy process. If you guys don't know that Jonin stars are actually <laughs> like an etc drop. They're not any used items or anything. And to obtain them, killing Jonins isn't the easiest thing. So basically, you have to grind for a bit because the drop rate for Jonin stars is a real big joke. So much so that they tease you by having equips actually drop more than etc items. I do want to say for you guys who attempt this quest, make sure you're ready, get your stockpile of drop coupons and make sure you get your Kishin or your Frenzy or whatever you want to do for this one. I doubt you guys are going to do it, but at the end of the day, I'm just giving you some tips on how to actually do this well. So first off, after God knows how many hours they'd probably spend collecting that stuff, I end up getting it and I'm just, I'm just ready for it completely. Like, let's do this. So I guess what happens when you collect 300 Jonin stars is that you actually get a shortcut past the Ninja Castle jump quest. And that's all it gives you. After those two years of trying to, f of just thinking into my head, what is the reward for that? I just, I just broke. <laughs> God damn it, man. So after getting all of that, you want to make sure that uh, you think to yourself if it's worth it or not. And to be honest, I'm going to be straight. If you're going to do the jump quest and it's easy for you, do not collect 300 Jonin stars for this NPC. Because at the end of the day, if you can get through it within at least 10 minutes or less, you shouldn't really have to do that at all. For something like this, maybe if you're bad at it and it takes you three plus hours to get through, then maybe it's worth getting those 300 Jonin stars. However, overall, I do not recommend doing this request because at the end of the day, it only gets you through the jump quest. Not the maze, just the jump quest. So, when you realize this, please let me know if you guys ever tried this. And I've, I'm honestly saving you guys God knows how much time. If you ever try this quest, I'm saving you guys this amount of time. And I actually went through this, this, this grind fest of just hilariousness. And uh, to be honest, I, I thought it was going to be something cool. But at the end of the day, it turned out to be disappointing, to say the very least. Even if you're bad at the jump quest, you could still get through it. 
and the grind is longer than the actual jump quest if you took three hours plus so is it worth it nope not at all do not hesitate to try this just don't try it at all i'm not joking this is literally the funniest waste of time i've ever had and uh you know what you know life goes through that and to be honest <laughs> Woo, it's pretty funny, I have to admit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it took a little long break there, but I just had too much work going on. So, I couldn't really go on MapleStory too much to make videos, per se. So, I hope you guys liked the video, and if you don't, you know, it's up to you. It's really up to you.